so what are narcissists afraid of? Like what what scares a narcissist? What put what puts fear into the heart of a narcissist? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. Boom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, I'm sitting here thinking. I'm sitting here in my office thinking of video ideas and whatnot. And I got a video idea for my support group. You can check my support groups. The link is in the description of every video and podcast that I do. Um, I get video suggestions and you know things like that. And somebody, and this question popped up. Like, what a narcissist really, truly afraid of? And it, it, it got me thinking, y'all. It really got my mind brain working. <laughs> like, Exposure is really a big fear of narcissists. Let's keep it real. Narcissists are really truly afraid of exposure um, because exposure brings in the shame. Shame, yeah, yeah, shame is a narcissist's biggest fear. Let's just say that right there. Anything that brings in or opens the door for shame to come into a narcissist's life is a narcissist's biggest fear. Anything that brings shame into their life, being exposed, losing, getting fired, getting divorced, uh, kids not talking to you, kids exposing you, uh, a tell-all book, <laughs> a TikTok going viral about your abuse or your behaviors and whatnot. Anything that would bring shame into a narcissist's life is their biggest fear. You know, and it, it's crazy. I'm sitting right here thinking, I'm like, what am I really afraid of? What causes me fear? What makes my heart beat faster? And I think one of my biggest fears because it brings in the shame is absolutely being exposed but i think my biggest fear is rejection it just is not just rejection from women but rejection any type of rejection from anyone not just rejection from people that i might be attracted to or whatnot it's just overall in life yes that's a huge part of it but i just any type of rejection this is why you get a lot of narcissists right that are procrastinators that self-sabotage because they would rather fail before achieve. They would rather not try than to fail. You know, they would rather not try to do something than to fail out loud, than to fail upwards and whatnot. That's how it works. They would rather literally blow their whole life up than apply for a job and get rejected. They would rather blow their life up than to just tell their tell their partner sorry or just you know admit to doing something wrong. Just that rejection. Somebody said, that's what I said, the most powerful words in your vocabulary or anybody's vocabulary when you're dealing with a narcissist. What are the most powerful words? The most powerful word. It's a two letter word. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's in the, in the alphabet. It's, it's in the alphabet. N O. N O. They're the most powerful words in your vocabulary when it comes to dealing with a narcissist is the word no. It just is. If you look at the vocab, the actual, the actual alphabet, it's a uh, A B A B C is N O P. It's damn near nope. The alphabet spells nope. <laughs> it says nop, but you know, you see what I'm saying? No, it's in the alphabet. It just is. Narcissists hate the word no. No is rejection, and no, rejection breeds obsession. If you've ever told a narcissist no. If you've ever friend zoned a narcissist, if you've ever put a narcissist on hold or not on hold, but like you, you rejected them for something, you told them no, and you picked somebody else for something. It could be a basketball team, a cheerleading trial, a soccer game, a, a school project or whatever, the dance team. If you've picked or chased, if you picked or chosen someone over that narcissist, you rejected them. It could breed an obsession towards you and towards why you rejected them. Why would you say no to me? You know, what's wrong with me to make you say no to me? Narcissist fear is like I said, the exposure part of it. It's just like being exposed means there's something wrong with me. You know, being exposed is in the indicative that there's something going on with me, that there's something wrong with me. And I don't want anything to be wrong with me, even though I don't feel perfect. I know a lot of people think that narcissists are perfect or think that they are perfect. That is absolutely not the case. Narcissists do not think that they are perfect, right? They, they they actually think there's a lot wrong with them. They're super insecure, but they give off the illusion of being super confident, right? They got they walk around with their chest out, 
you know, shoulders back, shoulders pinched back, chest out, neck held high. You know, they would <laughs> walk around like this. You know, you can, this is the narcissistic stance, right? They walk around like this, like, you must, you must be a narcissist. I see how you're walking. Uh, <laughs> but that's how it goes. Oh, y'all, I'm back. Oh, I feel good today. I'm feeling good. Because I'm so afraid of rejection, y'all. Rejection stops me in my shoes, you know? It really does. It really, really has. Like, you can, like, when I say rejection is my biggest fear, somebody telling me no, like, I it just even in my dating life back in the day, I would be a, super afraid of, to approach women unless I had some alcohol in my system, you know, unless I had a, a little liquid courage just poured into me. Because I, if they told me no, it would just back, bring back the, my childhood, the, the girl in my childhood when she was, when I was eight or nine years old, when she called me ugly. When I was in third grade. I was in third grade. This girl called me ugly in third grade and rejected me, hurt my feelings. And I held on to that for so long that I would be afraid to go talk to people and have them reject me because if they told me no, it took me back to my childhood. It just re it triggered a childhood memory. It took me back to the moment when she said, no, you're ugly because of your face. You're ugly because of your teeth. Like all my insecurities would bubble to the surface. And I don't want my insecurities bubble to the surface. I, I need them buried down deep. <laughs> I need my insecurities in six foot deep, seven, seven foot deep. Just in, just for reassurance, I need an extra foot on the the grave of my insecurities, right? So that's what I'm telling people. This is why I talk to people right now, yeah, right? This is what I do. So I'm trying my hardest to help people understand it and get to where you want to go, to get to where you want to be, because this is the goal. Like, if you understand that the the word no in your arsenal is a power is a superpower, you will just fend off narcissists. Lee, how do I stop uh, attracting narcissists? Use their biggest fear against them. Say the word no. Find a way to reject them. Set a boundary on them, y'all. Use the word no. It's a fear. It is rejection. Reject them in some way, shape, or form. Because you never know someone until you disagree with them. Disagree with them. Be smarter than them. You, you see what I'm saying? Another, another big fear of a narcissist, what are they afraid of? They're afraid of not being the smartest person in the room. They're, they're afraid of people looking down on them. They're afraid of their, you know, being shown their true selves, being outed. Like, show me my true self. I don't want to look in the mirror. Being made to face themselves. That's why, that's why when you match a narcissist energy, when you treat a narcissist the same way that they've been treating you, they hate it. That's why they react so crazy. That's why they just try to deflect and put it onto you. You're treating me like I treat you? No. And they have an excuse as to why they're treating you a certain type of way. They have an excuse as to why their behaviors, their behaviors are okay, but yours are not. They always have a damn excuse. So this is what I'm telling you right now. Narcissist fear is just, it's just crazy. The word no will destroy them most times. Some of them, some, I say that most times, the word no will destroy them most times, but some of them see the word no as a challenge. You see what I'm saying? That's why I like when you reject a narcissist, like when you friend zone them, when y'all were little, if y'all were in high school, you broke their heart in high school, you chose someone else, and y'all re reconnect later and you choose them later on in life, they remember that rejection they obsess with it. Now they're going to make you remember, they will make you hurt because you hurt them. I want to make you, again, they want to match their energy. They want to match your energy. I want to make you feel how you make me feel. When we were 19 years old, when you rejected me, you know, when you told me no, and I had my corsage, I got my corsage or whatever, and I asked you to the prom, and you said, hell no, and you went with Billy instead? How's Billy doing? Her Billy knocked you up and disappeared on you. How's Billy? You chose, remember you chose Billy? Over me when we were when we were young, <laughs> I still remember that. It's crazy. It's like yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we we were young, we were young, <laughs> we were young. I'm still I'm still young. I'm still childish as hell. You know, they remember that. That's why a lot of times when you give someone a chance in the future that you did that you overlooked in the past, you friend zoned or you chose someone else. That's why they hold it against you because you you rejected them and that rejection you you completed their biggest fear you made them realize their biggest fear you made them feel smaller you made them feel like that they were, they were not enough you rejected them and all this stuff happened at the same time and now they're angry as hell at you now they're going to make you hurt now they're going to make you feel pain that's the mindset y'all i'm just telling you they want to match your energy you hurt me i got you hurt me i have to hurt you Hey, it's just business <laughs> it's just business but it isn't y'all know y'all understand it but this is what I'm telling y'all. This is what I'm conveying to you. That narcissistic people right here, y'all, they have a lot of fear. They're not impermeable, impermeable people. They're not invincible people. They have a lot of damn fears. And they keep their fears close to the cuff. Yeah, they, that's why, look, narcissists are so afraid of so many things. They want you to tell, they want you 
to tell them your biggest fears so they can use them against you if you find out their fears. Like, tell me your biggest fears so I can use them against you in case you try to hurt me later on. You know? Rejection. I'm, t- I'm just telling y'all that rejection breeds that obsession for a long time and they don't, they don't let it go. Yo, even if like, yeah, it is, yeah, it is crazy. Like, I, I, I sit right here and meditate and close my eyes and I was like, what the hell am I afraid of? I'm afraid of not being enough. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of people rejecting me. And I know, I know those are natural fears, y'all. I know those are natural fears. But when you're dealing with narcissists and other toxic people, those fears become self-destructive and I call it other destructive, other, O-T-H-E-R, other destructive. Because my fears and my insecurities make me self-sabotage. I'm a, new, like, I'm, a I'm a bomb, y'all. If I self-detonate, everybody around me is getting hit with some shrapnel. <laughs> you know, if I self-destruct, everybody around me is going to get a hit with a piece of it as well. So I'm not just blowing me up. I'm blowing everybody else up around me. So everybody gets a piece of the bomb. Everybody gets hit with some debris. Everybody gets hit with with some shrapnel or something along those lines. Y'all understand exactly what I'm saying because this is how it goes. This is a piece of it. This is a part of it. This is life. This is life or something like it. You know, that's what they used to say. Life or something like it. So this is what I'm trying to convey to y'all. The narcissists have fears. They're actually, they walk around like damn scaredy cats. We are scaredy cats. I'm I'm a very fearful person very fearful person like that's why i keep my y'all see my reputation is airtight online right now in real life too even in my real life there's nothing that no one can say about me that would take me down so to speak because i know who i am i know the truth you know i protect my reputation i'm a good person yeah i have a person i did disorder but i'm a good person so my fears will never be used against me I mean, you can still reject me. It was, it, yeah, you can still reject me. You can say no. You can hurt. It didn't hurt. It, it didn't hurt. I ain't gonna lie to you. It hurt my feelings. It hurt me a little bit. But I'm gonna bounce back. And I'm not gonna destroy everybody else because I'm afraid. I'm not gonna blow up and destroy everyone else because I'm afraid of something. I'm afraid some, somebody said no and hurt my feelings. But anyways, y'all. Like I said, if you want to suggest, like, join the support group. Take a look at the support group, y'all. It's an amazing group. Um, we had a good ride and talk this morning. We do Zoom calls in the morning sometimes. We do the Zoom every Sunday evening um, in the afternoons. Like we on Zoom together in a group. People sharing their stories. People talking to each other, making friends. Uh, we just had two people in Canada. They live close to each other. It's great. Like I live in Canada. What part? And they just like, yeah, we do. See, you just never know. It's good to make friends with people who you who might be going through a very similar experience. Thank y'all so much. Mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.